My name is Charlene Carney. I'm a proud Wiradjuri woman from Dubbo, New South Wales. I'm an Indigenous school-based trainee working at ANZ. In year 10, school just wasn't for me. And then Mr Souza gave me a few pathways that I could have gone down. And then this came up. So this is how I got into banking. So look, Charlene did have a number of challenges when she was when I first met her. But one of the things I noticed is that she had a really um, great commitment from her family, and that was something I w wanted to draw on. Charlene was raised in Dubbo, where there was a lot of Aboriginal community and support around her in the schools and within family. And when we moved here, there's a lack of it within the area that we live in, and the school's been supportive of that through the transition. Shallon's had a rough time through high school on and off like any teenager does but when we got to the end of year 10 it was a really hard decision because we were tossing up whether she was actually going to complete year 11 and 12 um, with the problems she was sort of working through at school um, and, and the deciding point in the end was the support and help from the school with the ANZ in school apprenticeship. Um, I think since Shailen started, because we all knew she was young, we were a little bit nervous. She was really withdrawn as in she didn't feel like she was old enough to be serving customers over the counter because we serve some older people. She was thinking, how is she going to serve the older people? Would they respect her and talk to her? So she was really nervous. Um, but after probably a couple of months with that, it's just normal, same old every day, every week. She's fine. She serves anybody, doesn't care their age or anything like that. Um, she fits into all, all the team here with everybody. Um, they're good support to her. Uh, because she's young too, I think some of the staff treat her a bit like a little sister or, you know, because I've, I've got a 19-year-old myself, so I felt like I had another daughter. She knows what she has to do. Um, she knows who she has to ask if she's not sure. She's just one of the team now. Yeah, so I've sat with um, April. Yeah, she told me a lot. I just watched her for a couple of weeks and she showed me the ins and outs. We buddied Shailen up with someone. Um, it was good because she came out of her shell. Um, she could watch them and learn and put into practice for when she was going to be hands-on, what she needed to do. Um, and I think that worked well because I found that after a few weeks um, she was ready to do a little bit more by herself and not sit back, so it was good. Um, in five years' time, I see Charlene still working for ANZ. I think um, one of the things that she talked about was inspiring other young Aboriginal people. She has always talked about um, working in a local branch. She likes to support her local community. And I think um, she, she really enjoys seeing other students and other staff members come um, to her and she can actually offer them a service, um, something that she couldn't do when she was at school. So no one in my family has completed high school, made it to year 12. Um, but I feel like that's a big must for me because I just want to make myself and my family proud. What I like about Susan Morris, she's a good role model to all of us, like everyone that works here. She's really supportive as well, like at work and outside of work. I remember the first day at the bank was really scary. My mum dropped me off and my stomach dropped. <laughs> I don't know, I was just really scared. Like, I didn't know what to do, what to expect. I've never actually really been into a bank before, let alone worked in one. But yeah, everyone helped me through it. Everyone made me feel welcome and feel like I was supposed to be here. When she started the ANZ traineeship, she didn't really like it and she was close to pulling out within the first three weeks. Um, we told her to give it a go and once she knew the people she was working for, she'd learned to, to like it and within probably a month to a month and a half, she'd built friendships with the older people within the branch and started loving it. She's grown up, she's, she's ch it's changed her. It's changed her, she's very much more mature. When she's in the branch, she, you wouldn't realise she's a year 12 student. The best thing about working in this branch is the support that they give. 
and the friendships that I've made here. I feel like everyone here is family.